here I have a turbo 400 valve body. Kind of dirty, it's for demonstration purposes only. A question was asked about removing the, uh, the front accumulator piston spring, which is located underneath here. Um, this is a common modification in shift kits. What it will do is it will give you a firmer 2 to 3 shift. What this does is this pushes up against the servo to dampen the 2 to 3 shift. What the servo does is it holds the front band in the transmission and when it releases it drops into third. So without the spring behind this piston it would be much easier for the servo to go downwards. I made a special tool for this. Uh, just a C-clamp with special fitting on the end. Works good, but for this video I'm going to go ahead and use a vise because it's probably all that most people have. So you go ahead and you line your valve body up with your vise. You got to be very careful here that you don't mar the gasket surface of the valve body. You're going to want to leave enough room that you can get the e-clip off of the accumulator piston shaft or whatever you want to call it. So there's the e-clip. You'll notice I compressed that piston just enough to get the e-clip off. Without touching the gasket surface on the valve body. So I got the e-clip removed, simply take the piston off, take the spring out, reinstall the piston, make sure not to have any dirt on it, and reinstall the e-clip. And when you're all done it should look like this and this piston should float up and down freely. And to anyone watching my engine build series, I actually got another 455 core for $100 and this is a virgin block, it hasn't been machined before and it was pretty complete, it came with, came with all this stuff, Rochester carb even, and there it is. So I'm going to try to get my engine project back on budget.